Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Toya coming back at you again. So I'm coming back at you with a story time. That's right, a story time. I'm going to tell you how I got even with my ex after what he did to me in 2019. So in 2019, I moved to Nevada, which I already know. And it was his ideal to move out the state. And the reason to move out the state is what he told me is due to the fact that his lifestyle that they were going to be after him and they'd be trying to kill me and my family because of him. And I'm like, okay, I will leave the state, but we're not married. So what does that matter? We're not, but they know that we were together. So they may try to kill you. Really? Talking about some, well, you violated the code. First of all, I wasn't even in the game. I was married to you. You. You didn't tell me until after the fact. And I've been trying to get away from you since then. So, I end up moving my family to out the state. So, once I get out the state, we get here. The apartment that we had, the guy gave our apartment away. I called the manager and he was trying to give us um, all the excuses of what happened. Oh, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. No, there is no misunderstanding. I'm out here in the street and he knew I was coming on this particular day and he gave my apartment away. Um, yes, I should have sued, but out here they do, they make it so hard and so difficult for you to sue. It, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I have to call several attorneys and everything like that. And I just said, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to give it to God and God to take care of it. That's the most highest power that can ever do anything to anybody, any time, anywhere is God. Because men don't want to do shit. Men no, They want to fuck over you. So I, I leave it to a high power. Yes, sometimes he takes longer, but sometimes he come quick. But lately, he's been on time this time. He's been on time with me. So, praise the Lord to him. Secondly, um, so getting back to it, because I always get off. So, after that, I calls him, tells him the situation was going on, what happened, we, what happened at our place. But I first call my boyfriend, because my boyfriend is the one that I'm with at that time. So, I first call my boyfriend. Um, I tell him what happened, and he was like, baby, you want me all right, and whatever, whatever. You know, all through this whole deal not one time the ex is giving me money not that i should ask for but all the shit that i do for you that the kindness of your heart should be like you know she did look out for me when i was down let me look out for her nigga didn't look out for me period at all at all so i'm like okay fuck it so then i called him and you know he was like you lied to me you did this and blah 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 woo, 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 woo. i'm like excuse me what I said, no, I didn't lie to you. I said, well, you got your, they got these pictures. I said, you do know photo pictures can be photoshopped. And I said, um, no, I know what I did. I know what I didn't do. So whatever. So he was talking real rough to me, talking mad shit to me because he was feeling, I said, oh, so you fell in love with the hoe. Okay. All right. Uh, let me just let y'all know the agreement was he was supposed to do what he had to do to try to get away from the gangs. So he said. And he ended up falling for the bitch. So he got to being real grimy to me, talking mad shit to me in August and September. He was real grimy to me. He told me on the day before my birthday. Now, my birthday September 24th. He told me on September 23rd. I say, I'm calling him. This nigga, I ain't did shit to him. Nigga threw me to the to the voicemail real quick. Twice. I, 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 threw you to, I, did, I, I didn't take your call because I didn't want to hear that argument. I didn't call to argue with him at all. He act like he was dropping a bomb on me. Because when we divorced, I, after we divorced, he didn't think I was with somebody. I divorced him May 13th, 2015. Yeah, 2015. Me and my boyfriend got together July 20th. No, July 5th, 2015. So I really wasn't single that long. The dating scene, I'm not about to sit here and pine over him. He wasn't shit to pine over. You in prison. You couldn't do shit for me. So... He finds out that day that I had a boyfriend all that time. And he was mad. Oh, he was mad. So let me tell you how he found out. So he was telling me, yeah, they want me to have a baby. I said, um, well, when we were together and I was talking about having a baby, you didn't want a baby. He said, no, that was you that didn't want a baby. I always said I want. He got to talking real grimy to me and told me to lose his number that, what do you say? To lose his number and everything like that. Okay, bitch. But you thought I was going to fight. I'm like, bitch, okay. Here it is, October 2019. This nigga, how you doing? I just take, bitch, 
you don't need to take i'm trying to protect you so you talking shit to me to protect me no bitch you're not talking shit to me to protect you talking shit to me because you doing some grimy shit that you didn't agree to and then you gonna talk shit to me hmm okay now it's hey how you doing i'm just checking on you when you've realized that i told you that i had a boyfriend and i've had him for five years then it was like I knew it. I knew it was the thing. Bitch, you don't need to know his name. His name is not relevant to you. Did you tell me what your bitch name is? No, people had to send me the shit. I didn't ask for it. They sent the shit. And so they sent the shit to me of who the bitch was. They sent the shit to me. I mean, everybody was just sending me shit. I'm like, why? Because you held him down all the time while he was in prison. And this is the things you get. He ain't even said bitch, hi, bitch, nothing. I'm like, my, my homies is more mad than I am. I'm like, his karma gonna hit him. I really don't care. They were sending me this. They were sending me shit. I mean, to this day, I still get a whole bunch of shit. And I would just be like, don't send that shit to me. They're like, nope, we gonna keep sending it because this bitch shouldn't have did you like that. So, I can't stop him from sending it. I can only do is just delete it. But, I, he talked to me right little grimy that day, September 23rd, right before my birthday. And, um, spoke real grimy to me. Then October, November... Then when December came around, here this nigga called him, he texted me. First, he had the audacity to call me. Do you hear me? The nigga had the audacity to call me. And not only did he call me, the nigga FaceTime my ass. So when he called me, I said, you made your bed. Now deal with it. Then he FaceTimed me. I rejected that. So then he sent me a text. And in that text, he out you'll see all of it because I'm gonna drop it off. And in that text, he sent me, he says, I will never stop calling you. I'm gonna get my family back. And as soon as I can make moves, I will show you that. Then he texts me again, because I didn't text him back. Then he texts me again and says, Hey, I'm just checking on you. How you doing? And so this time I responded back. I said, don't worry about how I'm doing. Don't even remember what you said to me. See, now all the shit that he said to me, he trying to take back. See, that green grass that he thought was so green turned brown real motherfucking quick. Sec and then so then, as the months progressed, he just kept calling me. So he didn't call me in December. He calls me on my mama's birthday. Knowing my mama don't like you. Gonna say, Tell your mom I said happy birthday and uh, um, I still, you know, some shit. He was not, I wasn't even paying attention to him in class. And my, my classmates see me tweaking. I'm like, nigga. She was like, girl, don't worry about it. She say what it is is you doing good. And he tried. And I mean, this is a this is a young lady that's 18. 18, smart as a bitch. And I'm in my forge. I already know what it is. She And I'm like, she see I'm fresh. She say, don't get frustrated. He see you doing good and he want to get a piece of that pie. So he want to try to keep in connection with you. She said, but don't you worry. You focus on the man that you got and go keep on getting on the school. And she 18, giving me advice. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take it, but I was going to do that anyway. But she was smart. Um. Then again, so I think in December, he he didn't text me no more. Um, I think the next time he he called so, he called in March, and by the habit, because I thought it was my boyfriend calling, because I had him under the same ringtone, so I just instantly picked it up, and I forgot I had, had him under the same ringtone, so I instantly picked it up, and when I heard his voice, I said, like, what the fuck you want? I was just calling to see how you doing. I said, what the fuck? I said, I was fine until you called. What he was like, you you ain't got to act like that. You ain't got to be like that. Yeah, I do got to be like that. Yeah, I do. We're not about to be friends. We're not about to be cordial. This ain't about to happen. You're dead to me. When you, you leave, keep going. We're not about to be friends. We're not about to be. We're not talking. There's no need for us to talk. There's no need for us to have a conversation. You just want to have a way so you can try to switch your bag back in. You're not ever coming back. And I mean that. My my son's father did the same thing. He left and wanted to come back. And I told him the same thing. You ain't ever coming back. And he didn't. He found that out the day he died. I didn't come back. 
maybe the other baby mama did, but I ain't. You don't walk out on my kid and then think that I'm coming, going to be your friend. No, 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 no. Because uh, that's not happening. That's not happening at all. But now I'm doing good. I am got my business. I got my license. And there's a lot more other things. And I say that my man uplift me. I lift, I uplift myself, but my, also, my, my man uplifts me too because he's like, baby, you can do this. You got this. And everything that he said that I can do that I have and I, can, I got this, I've done it. And there's more to do because I don't want to want for anything. You know what I'm saying? But then he called again. No, actually, this time he, called, he texted me May 1st, but this is how he did. He stalked my old boyfriend before I started talking to the one I'm talking to that I've been with. He went that far back. And so the dude texts me to tell me, oh, I got a car. Now, we still talking. I told my boyfriend that me and my ex still not talk like, ooh, hey, girl, what's good? You know, if he's something in his life spontaneous happened, yeah, he going to let me know. We cordial. I mean, because I told him before I got my, I said, you know, we was kicking it, but, you know, I have a boyfriend now, and I really like him, and I want to get to know him. And he backed up, so... May 1st, he texts me again because my auntie had passed in April. So he's like, oh, are you coming out? He want me to come out here too bad. So that means that they want to do something to me. They want to hurt me. I don't trust him. He want me to come back there too bad. And I'm not coming back. Um, He was like, are you coming out here? Because I want to come to the funeral. I miss you. I want to see you. No, you don't. You're trying to set me up. I'm not dumb. You're trying to set me up to get me hurt or killed or something and make me think that everything's okay with me. Everything's Gucci. We're fine. We're not we're cordial. You're trying to kill me. I know that. You're trying to get me hurt, killed, or something. I don't trust you. I do not trust you. You're too busy wanting to get me back out to Michigan. You ain't. And then he says to me, um, well, I just wanted to be there for I don't need you to be there for me. When I needed you to be there for me, you wasn't there for me. So I don't need you. I have someone to be there for me. So then after May, I didn't hear from him for a while, which I was like, yay, cool. He ain't calling. Yes. July 27th, he calls me. And that's when he's like, oh, you're doing good. You about to pass state board. You got your own business. I said, whoa, how you know all that? I just posted it on my my Facebook and you're blocked. So how do you know that? Oh, I have my way. So he's stalking me through someone else on Facebook. You left. Why are you stalking me? You left. I didn't tell you to leave. You left. It's just that when you left, I wasn't waiting. When you left, I went in and did my thing. I got me someone to care for my... You left. Okay? You left. It was your decision to make do the divorce. I signed the papers. You left. I'm not about to fight over, um, no, I don't want to divorce you. They, you can't do shit for me. You couldn't do nothing for me. You locked up. You can't do a motherfucking thing for me. Okay? Get that in your mind. So, after that, it got real. I sat out there, talked to him. I went in on his ass. He got to talking. I said, dude, you send me out here so you can lay up with the next bitch and have me look stupid? I said, yes, I'm with someone else. But the agreement that we had, so y'all get to understand it. No matter who we was with, um, we wouldn't do anyone wrong like that. It'll be, you know, underhanded. We just keep everything honest. We were supposed to be cordial. That he didn't do. He was doing underhanded shit. He got to talking to me like he talking to her. You talk to that bitch with disrespect. You're not going to talk to me. Then he had the nerve to tell me, I'm disrespectful. So I shouldn't be mad about the situation that you had. If I had to send you out to stay to make sure you're safe, I'm going to do that. No, but you're shitting on me at the same time, bitch. Run that shit on somebody else. So I got tired. I said, I wish he just, I just want him to stop calling. He wouldn't stop. I even sent him a text. The last text that I sent him to please stop texting me. That stop texting, stop calling you, upsetting my boyfriend. I told it to him. And he was like, I don't care about your dude. I say, look, stop texting me. I mean, it, all the texts just show you exactly what I went through with him. So, July 28th, the next day, I said, I'm tired. I'm tired of him. I'm trying to heal from the shit that he do. It's just like. He keeps stabbing you, keeps stabbing you, you get to heal it, and then he come back and he stab you again and stab you again. So I said, this is it. This is done. So all the text messages I had and everything I had, I just released them. So I inboxed the girl because I knew who she was. I've been.